Update. It's a really popular term in the gaming industry, and to sum it up simply, it's basically when developers decide to make changes, adjustments, or hell, even renovate the game entirely. The reason I bring this up is because today I'm going to be covering what I consider one of, if not the, worst updates in all of Sonic game history, or at least modern Sonic game history. And that game belongs to none other than the classic Sonic mobile game, Sonic Dash. Developed by Sega Hardlight and released in uh, March 2013 for the iOS, Sonic fans pretty much have played this game at least once or twice, whether that be in their childhood or as in their spare time as an, as an adult, you know. You, could, you might have played this game at least once or twice in your lifetime, I'm just saying that now. Now the reason why I'm bringing specifically Sonic Dash up, not any other Sonic game, for example, uh, Sonic 06, Sonic Forces, etc. is because this game, before this update, was actually solid. It was okay, it was a, it was a, you know, an endless runner, very fun. There's some scummy tactics here and there, but they weren't like game-breaking like this one is. So, without further ado, I'm going to dive in and tell you exactly why I think this is, without a doubt, the worst update in Sonic gaming history, and especially for Sonic Dash. Now, before this update, the way you earned characters, at least uh, non-event exclusive characters, uh, was through unlocking them, whether that be through playing the zone, uh, through purchasing them on the app store, like, you know, just, you, if you, you can get them through certain conditions is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but for event characters, every so often you'd have a limited time event where, like, the game would specifically spawn these big coins. And if you collected enough of these coins, you'd unlock the character. Which, honestly, is fair enough, but, like, 250 tokens. If you're a brand new player, that's a little bit overwhelming, but if you're someone who's been playing for quite a long time, it's <laughs> you'll probably get there within a couple of minutes, let's be honest. But otherwise, uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because this update has pretty much revamped the entirety of what we know about the character unlocking system. Now, previously, like I said, event characters could be unlocked if you were there for the limited time events and collected their tokens, more specifically 250 of them. However, now the the game has just completely 180'd on almost every single character now. No longer uh, do event exclusive characters exist. They've now been marked with rarities. Uh, it's like rare, legendary, common, you know, that sort of thing, that sort of system. Which means that any and all event characters in the game are unlockable. Except for like, you know, the collab ones, like Angry Birds and stuff like that, but you, you know what I mean. Uh, but if you missed out on a, an event, then you can probably unlock them by playing the game and collecting their cards for the track, which by itself is a cool concept. However, let me just get into the bad side of things first off. Now, the previous system of upgrading characters is that you used rings, you know, to spend rings to unlock a speed, boost, power up duration, you know, that sort of thing. Now, the character card system, or the character card update, uh, has made it so you have to collect these character cards just to unlock and upgrade characters. Now, unlocking is acceptable, you know, it, it's whatever, that's fine, but the fact that you need to get these cards now to upgrade them is not the best, especially considering before that you only needed rings to really do it, like, and getting a lot, a lot, a lot of rings, like, you need, like, 20,000 to, like, get at least one bar filled out. But now you need to collect cards and like, you're probably asking, what's well, not that bad, you probably need like one card to upgrade a legendary character, right? Well, you would be mistaken, you need a grand total of 30 cards per slot for legendary characters. Y yeah, you need that many cards just to upgrade a legendary variant character who's pretty much functioning the exact same way as every other character in the game. It, it really runs that deep. It really doesn't help the case that every time you go on a run, the cards aren't predetermined. Like, the cards are completely randomized. And in a game with, like, what, like, 10 plus characters, the chances of you getting 30 cards of the character you want to upgrade are, like, so slim. Especially if you're on, like, a new run. Like, in a new run, the most of the time you get commons, rares, legendaries, characters you just don't want, or characters you've already maxed out, like, before the update. So getting these cards is just completely worthless, there's no value to them, and it's just a waste of time and resources for you. Like, you don't benefit from collecting these cards that you've already maxed out, and 
trying to collect the cards you really want to get is just a massive pain in the ass and it becomes like a gamble at that point. One more thing before I move on, I'd like to add if you go to the shop, you can unlock these characters, you can just pay to get them. But <laughs> they're kind of overpriced if I'm being honest. Let's just get that across. If I wanted to buy all of these characters right now, I would be paying a grand total of £58 a knife or pence, rounded up to £60 just for some playable characters that are literally reskins of just Sonic with a few different animations. It's insanely overpriced. And if you're trying to stay free to play, guess what? Even when you want to upgrade the lower tier characters, guess what? You're going to get jump scared by an ad. You can't upgrade unless you watch an ad, even if you have the correct amount of cards. It is genuinely insane how money hungry this studio is i wish i was joking the reason why this is such a big massive game changing update is because previously these event characters just came once in a blue moon all you had to do was collect the tokens for them and if you wanted to max up other upgrades see what their potential is all you had to do was just grind up some rings and there you go it was such a simple and easy process it was so convenient for the player but now it's just turned into this weird pseudo sonic speed battle mess that it really really ruins the flow progression this game had and it makes events feel less special considering that you kind of have to hope and pray that events arrive on sonic dash just to get legendary cards it's just i don't know the whole mood of the game has just sunk down to a whole new flow and it just doesn't feel as fun to play anymore it just feels more tedious and grindy just to play as your favorite character or a cool version of your favourite character or just a unique character in general. Hell, they even demoted most event characters to common and rare rarities. Like, the biggest example of this I can think of is Tangle and Whisper. They were like big hype like event characters because, you know, as far as I know, they're comic exclusive characters and this is like their first 3D debut. So for them to be <laughs> demoted from <clears throat> event status, all the way back down to common rarity is kind of just a slap in the face to those who grinded up their tokens aka me and quite a few other players and honestly a lot of event characters specifically sonic of the black knight characters and even dark spine sonic got treated disrespectfully now they're just basic bitch common and rare and legendary rarities it's just it really feels disrespectful to the characters, the roster, and it just overall feels like a big huge cash grab, and I do not vibe with this update at all. So yeah, that's my personal thoughts on what I think is the worst Sonic update ever. This is literally one of, if not the, most destructive and less productive updates I've ever seen from Sega Hardlight. Hopefully they make changes and make this a little bit more lenient to the player, but for now I think this is just one big massive cash grab. It's them trying to squeeze every last drop of money out of an old dying cow because speed battle isn't earning my nut. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.